During the proceedings, you may want to mark text, make notes, or sign an issue on significant lines of text. In the next few minutes, you will learn how to use each of these features in CaseViewNet. The mark function identifies a line or lines by placing a black diamond indicator to the left of the line numbers. You can mark text in a number of ways. When following real time, mark the current line by pressing the spacebar, the F5 key, or the mark icon. CaseViewNet will continue to follow real time uninterrupted. To mark multiple lines, highlight the lines you want to mark, then press any of the mark methods as previously described. When marking more than the current line, making notes, or using issues, follow real time is temporarily suspended. Press Ctrl O or click the follow real time icon to return the cursor to the incoming real time data. The notes function in CaseViewNet attaches your typed text to a line or lines of text in the transcript. When you create a note, the notepad icon displays in the left margin to indicate the lines contain an attached note. To attach a note, position the cursor on the line or highlight multiple lines where you want the note. Then either click the note icon or press Ctrl N. The annotate dialog box displays with the cursor in the notes field. Just type the necessary text for your note and click OK. To view the note text, hover your cursor over the notepad icon or double click on it to view it in the annotate window. The Issues feature allows you to identify specific topics or lines of text with color. Imagine during proceedings, whenever you think the witness says something you want to check later, you can insert the credibility issue. This allows you to locate information more easily later on. Issues have two different ways of being used. First, click on the issue you would like to use. Then highlight the portion of text you would like to assign an issue to. As you can see, it changes to the color of the issue used. Always remember to unselect the issue before moving on to a new issue. Quick issues are the second way issues can be used. Quick issues are assigned to a number, 0 through 9, and are inserted into the transcript by pressing the assigned number. Quick issues insert a diamond at the beginning of the line matching the same color as the quick issue you used. You can find more information on how to mark, make notes, or use issues in CaseViewNet's built-in help. To access help, press F1 from anywhere inside CaseViewNet, or click on Help, and then CaseViewNet Help.